<clears throat> What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back and guys I got another good video for you today and it's gonna explain the second program, okay? I had a lot of trouble with this a lot of my subscribers were telling me how to fix it how what to do and all that good stuff uh, How to get it quick and fast and honestly guys There's really no way to get it quick and fast. You literally just have to grind the game Okay so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm saying. Okay, so for you to get high stars in the second inning You guys need to grind the first inning program first, which I did not okay, so that's number one Number two is you actually have to complete one of the collections Which is like about a hundred K to get the Miggy Vlad or bum Gardner so I'm gonna do that in the uh, should I just do it in the video? I don't know. I'm not I'm not gonna do it in the video But I could complete the collection right now, and why do I say you have to complete the collection? Okay, so You complete the collection you do you get 75 okay, you get 75 stars when I complete the collection I will almost have this I will almost get what's it called? I will almost be here. I will almost get one of these guys I'll be close but like in the first inning program if I complete the collection, which I'm going to complete the collection soon, you get... Okay, so ready? At 300, you unlock one of these. Okay? So if I do the first inning collection, that's 10 players for 100k. You keep those 10 players on your team. And you get 75 towards that. Which means you get 75 stars towards this. But that means when you get, you get one of the players from this one... It's so confusing. You get one of the players from this one, and then that transfers over to the second inning program in which you need those three cards to complete this collection to get Vlad or whatever. So if you complete that collection, then you get 75 stars toward this, and then the batter's box cards, all that. I'm going to have 300 stars in no time, and at 300 stars, you get one of these. And then... It's it's crazy. You get one of these. So pretty much if you do the collection For the whatever you get your stubs back and you get to play with Vlad Okay, so let me do let me go over it again because I know it's really confusing. Okay, so 280 okay 300 okay, so you do this collection whatever you do this collection you keep those players you do the collection whatever you get you get um, the voucher for the second inning program, okay? So the voucher. So you get those players and you get the voucher. But then when you do that, you'll I'll be at 200 whatever, then plus the 30 and plus the 30, I'll be at 260. So I will not be far at all from the Vlad or the Miguel or whatever. So I will keep the Cy Young, the Andrew Jones and the other dude Rick Gossage and on top of it, I will get one of these three which I could play with and then sell Okay, so pretty much the collection is like 20k if you think about it if you have the stubs It's about 20k maybe 15k you'll lose 15k, but you get to keep those three players. Okay so My suggestion is I would not do the first inning collection because that's a waste of coins Okay it's not worth it and I'm gonna go over it. I'm gonna tell you why this collection right here is terrible because you're gonna do this So you want to start off you want to do what or no. what collection you want to do is the one with Andrew Jones and the Cy Young This one isn't worth it. I'm gonna tell you why okay, so you're gonna spend a hundred whatever My program is almost done. I have to do a couple moments. I'll do the strike out of the challenge. And I'm pretty much done. Okay, so right there It's not but it's not worth it for me to do that this collection right here. It's so not worth it. So you want to do the collection for the second inning. You want to do the collection for the second inning to get this, okay? When I do the collection, I'll get the voucher, the batter's box. That's 60 plus 75. My math is terrible. Oh, man. Oh, 135, I think. Yeah, 135. Yeah. Okay, so that's 135, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Yeah, 135 stars plus the 122. I'll be super close to it. So it's a, it's a no-brainer to do this collection. You'll lose 15k and you keep three stud diamonds that you could keep potentially the whole year. 
it's a no-brainer. You won't lose stuffs from it either. I you like you'll lose like maybe 20k. What is 20k gonna do? And you get this guy, you get this at 200. That's no, you won't even lose stubs. You will not even lose stubs. At, you won't. You can't lose stubs because you get this guy right here. You get packs. You get this, that, this, that. And if you could somehow get the 500, you get five packs. But well, I'm not gonna get the 500. I'm just gonna fish for the 300. So guys, I under, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying here. This makes a lot of sense. I, I, I had a like you have to do a lot of moments, honestly. For you to complete this, you have to do a lot of moments, like a crap ton of moments. But if you don't have the stubs, yeah, if you don't have the stubs, you're gonna have to do a lot of these moments to get these stars. I play a lot of online. I play a lot of ranked seasons. That's why. But if you guys understand what I'm saying, if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments. But yeah, so honestly, yo, I'm probably gonna do this collection on it. I'm gonna just do the collection just so I could show you guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go do the collection right now. Freak it. I'm gonna do it for you guys right now. And so, oh, he's kind of expensive right now. 35k. Honestly, should I do the collection? I'm gonna just put buy nows on it. See if I could get it fast enough for you guys. And who else is in here? Where's the other dude? Andrew Jones. So this is so worth it if you think about it. You get three diamonds and you get to keep them. It's a no brainer, dude. So let's see if I can get those cards. We're gonna spend about uh, 100K, 90K around there. Around 100K on the cards. The Vladimir and the Miguel goes for 80k, so use 30k plus the players. Alright, I'm not even that far. We're about to complete this collection. This is the squad. The squad's pretty stacked, not gonna lie. Pretty decent. We got 220k stubs. Hopefully I get them. So what you guys wanna do? I'm not gonna be a clickbait. I'm not gonna say it's the fastest way to do this and that. I'm just explaining this, okay guys? So, honestly, what you want to do, first of all, these 30s right here, the batter's box challenge, that's not hard. Winning 10 games in ranked seasons might be a little difficult, but it's not hard for me because I grind really freaking hard. And then you want to do the collection. Right there is pretty much the whole program. And you can play a couple moments or whatever. And it's a done deal. And then they also have another way to get some stars is this daily thing right here. So, exchange compression sleeves. Do I have any? I don't think I do. I don't have any. So, I'm going to go buy a compression sleeve right now, and I'm going to add it, and I'm going to get some stars, okay? That's what, that's what, it's worth it, believe me. Let's see, where's compression sleeve? Filter, compression sleeve, there we go. I'm going to buy a bunch of these, three of them, whatever. I don't want to do the buy nows right now. All right, so now I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get some stars just for adding a stupid compression sleeve. You only get one, but still worth it, man. One star, they add up, believe me, every single day. Multiplayer, common hitters in ranked seasons, battle royale, you want, you get plus two for that, and Royals innings, you get plus two for that. So that's another way to make stars, but honestly, it's the, it's you, honestly, if you don't have 100k stubs, I, I mean, a lot of people do, I would just do the collection, man. It really helps, it helps a lot. You don't have to grind as much. That, that is, I would say, is the fastest way to, what's it called? to become oh my god defeat the second inning program guys it is you have to do the collection really like the grinding it could take days it could take hours i would just say get 100k stubs a lot of people have 100k stubs just freaking do the collection yo it, it's worth it you get you get them back you get a miggy and vlad you sell them you still get your stubs you get most of your stubs back and you get three diamonds for like about 5k a piece which is a no-brainer in my opinion so pretty much what I'm saying is you need 100k stubs to really do this or you could really grind you could grind for all day probably for five days straight and get it honestly you could do it you could a lot of people have 100k stubs though so I would go the collection route I'm doing it you guys should do it it's what I'm thinking you guys should do it's pretty much the fastest way of doing the collection and honestly guys that's all I got for you. I hope you understand what I'm saying. If you don't, hit up the comments. It, it makes a lot of sense to me because I'm kind of in my own world. But 
Anyways, if you guys are new, just subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff. And guys, guess what? Peace! Hey, yo,